the Anne Bedell Highway. Over 1,300 kilometres of some of Australia's most rugged and isolated outback terrain. Join us as we cross one of Len Bedell's most famous highways, from corrugations to stunning campsites. Part three, phew, we made it. We would like to take this moment to acknowledge the traditional custodians of the land of which we travel and pay our respects to their elders past, present and emerging. We would like to extend that respect to all Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples and their country. Morning. Morning. <clears throat> oh, what a sleep. Oh. Better than last night. Oh, I slept good both nights. Mm -hmm. But no, good. We um, It was a nice night. The wind ended up dying like right out, which was mm. good. So, yeah, it was just a matter of head to pillow. I'm closing my eyes. Straight out. So... Played around with a bit of an Astro shot last night, so hopefully that came out and I put it in the video. Whether it did see. or not, but it was going. We'll find out. <laughs> no, we'll see. We'll see. Bit of a time lapsey thing. So. I believe in you. Yeah. So just the usual standard morning routine, brekkie. <laughs> and coffee. And um, yeah, then we'll start packing up and head towards Neil Junction. And then we're not sure whether we'll make it to Elkirka Roadhouse tonight, today or this afternoon. It's about 180 k's from where we, or a bit more, maybe 200 k's. Plus there's like a 9 k track there and back, so 18 total, to an aircraft crash site. Um, we should be interested to go check out again because I haven't been there for years, so. That'd be good. Um, so we might take that, we're not sure. Um, but yeah, whether we get it to El Kirker or not, I'm not totally sure, but we definitely will fill up, obviously. We thought we would stay, and they've got donkey showers there, so we thought partake in a donkey shower. And yeah, 
play it by ear, but the sun's out. It looks like it's going to be a beautiful day today. Mm. Probably. Um, I think it's like 18 or 19. Oh, with yum. the sun, which will be nice. Shorts out again, I hope. And, yeah, um, yeah looking forward to mm. another day on the tracks. Beauty. All right, let's finish this coffee. I'm going to get this. Milk out the frother. So we're here, we're at Neil Junction. We're at the major intersection of the Amberdale Highway and the Connie Sioux Highway. Uh, Jess is just finishing off the visitor book, um, which is a bit of a must when you're out here for a couple of reasons. One sort of, so people know, you know, what's, who's been through or, or um, what conditions at the track are. We've spent a little bit of time reading through. Um, but also a um, bit of a safety thing, I suppose. If you signed it and you go get lost, at least they know where you were last. So there you go. So there's a couple of these scattered around um, between the, uh, the Bedell family and the friends of the um, Great Victorian Desert um, look after these. So um, fill them up, top them up, or go put them in a library to, for storage. Um, Part of the flies are thick. Oh, I know. But it's just we were only we're, no flies at meters up camp. the road, and there was nothing. So, as I was saying, the major intersection um, between the Connie Sioux Highway and the Amberdale Highway. So, that's west along the Amberdale, north Connie Sioux, east Amberdale, which we'll be heading that way, and then south the Connie Sioux. So, if you head north up the Connie Sioux, that'll take you up to the Gumbarrel Highway, um, and it's a bit of a popular track for people to come. All the way up through um, and yeah we're heading east towards the border the south australian border um, and towards ilkirk the sign just points out pretty much what i saw so from here laverton's 240 miles to the east um, the south australian border is 220 miles uh, to the east sorry laverton's 240 miles to the west SA border is 220 miles to the east. Emu, um, where the, the clay pan and where they let the atomic bombs off, um, there that's 426 miles to the east. And then Cooper Pedy, 600 miles, so that's where we'll be headed. And then to the north, you've got Warburton, 203 miles, and to the south, Rolena, um, which is one of the stations, uh, one of the, the sightings for the old, um, for the GAN line. Um, and then it's got the team. So the road was made by the Gumboro Road Construction Party. Lemberdell, my grandfather, as the surveyor. Scotty Board as the bulldozer and a grader driver. Frank Gunn as the, uh, sorry, Frank Quinn, if I can read it right. Frank Quinn as the supply truck driver. Paul Christensen as the cook. Um, and then Con Anne and Connie Subadell, Bonnie and Lassie, the dogs. I didn't know. I don't know who, whose dogs they were because I don't think mum and dad, mum had dogs as growing up. Really? Yeah, interesting. I have to ask that story. <laughs> I don't know anything about that one. But so most of these are replicas now. Unfortunately, um, people decided to go off and souvenir as many as they could, and we grabbed the the originals of the ones that were left. And my auntie Connie um, and her husband Mick have been um, re-stamping, remaking them um, the, in the traditional method that that. Um, granddad Lenny did um, to replace him with the um, yeah to replace the the originals or the replicas as they get souvenired which is very disappointing that people feel like they need to do that um, probably the same people that leave their toilet paper hanging out of the ground too I reckon <laughs> special sort of people um, but yeah so 
lots of history um, in these plaques. And there's a few more along the way. So we've just arrived at this uh, little crash site, aircraft crash site from million miles an hour or in two wheel drive and got stuck so yeah just took it easy time for lunch though i reckon um i think we've got some leftovers chicken or something so came for that beautiful day though oh turning it on it's only getting warmer too which is brilliant um yeah so we'll love that bit of lunch and then we'll cruise back out it's about nine k's back out to the main Ian Bedell highway and then we'll um, move on to Il Kirker, which is about 60 Ks, I think. So we'll go from there. Beautiful. Lunch, babe? Lunch. Lunch. Uh, what are you making me? Chicken sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> All right.
Let's get into it. Much, but that's okay. We that's still got to see a camel, it'll but it'll come. It'll come. Camels will come, the emus will be around. We did see kangaroos. When was that? Oh, no, I don't was know. If I was going to say, I don't think that was, that was ages ago. ago. Yeah. But lots of evidence. You can see lots of prints around. Mm. Um, lots of camel prints. Yeah. Lots of emu prints, but yeah, just haven't seen them in the flesh. So yeah, we're going to keep powering on through to Ilkirka, where we're going to stay the night. Yeah. Ilkirka is a roadhouse, um, but you can stay there too. They've got donkey showers and uh, I think it's like hot dog toilets or something like that. Mm. Um, and I believe there's a little shop and a gallery. I haven't been there in years, so it be good to get back there and check out how far the shops come. Um, so we're not too far away. Um, and then, yeah. Make yourself smell good. You're the stinky one in this relation. Me? I hear a stinky okay, one. <laughs> I don't believe you. You walked this morning? I did. Did you? I did. Shout out again. Alright. We'll see you at Okurka. We'll see you at Beryl Kirker. Kirker. Here she is. Here, who is? You. Me. Here she is. We. So we have just picked a spot at Elkirka Roadhouse and campground. Um, yeah, we paid uh, filled up with diesel, which was three dollars sixty-five. Um, there's nowhere else to get it, so that's what it is. And yeah, we're just. 
set the car. And yeah, nice little sunset. And someone getting their car dropped off from being rescued. Which won't be us, will it? Oh, we need to work that out. We only have 560 kilometers left with our tank. We have and three jerry cans of fuel. Three? Where's yeah. the third? Inside. And how many is that? That's 60 litres. All together? 246. So we only have 600 and 50 k's left. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> and we have eight, sh she doesn't know we what have <laughs> and touch wood. It's not going to be us. Well, <laughs> it won't be us. It won't be us. Touch wood. Touch it. Touch the wood. <laughs> no, we're all good. No. So, yeah, we potted in, went through the shop, um, which has got like, some art supplies. Art supplies. Arts. Artworks. Artwork. Artworks. From the Spinifex country. And then some just basic supplies um, as far as meals and camping gear. And I think they've got some mechanical stuff. I'm not really sure. I'm out the back. Um, and then, yeah, we just found a spot on the other side of the highway in the campground to park up. Met a couple of lovely people. Um, and we're going to share some firewood together and make some dinner and then eat. My sunglasses were on my head. <laughs> so yeah, that's our that's our night. And then we're going to get up in the morning and use the donkey showers and have a fresh, fresh nut. Mm, you need Make one. myself rude. <laughs> Make myself look pretty again. Well, that's a wrap on this one, guys. Thanks heaps for tuning in. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. It goes a long way to helping us out. To stay up to date with us, make sure to hit us up on the socials on Instagram and Facebook. Be sure to jump over to our website and check out everything Wandering Oz and grab yourself some Wandering Oz merch. Thanks again for joining us, guys. We'll see you next time as we continue the adventure. Catch ya! Catch ya.